What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Friday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralta, at Sports Talk. Matt, to follow me on Twitter. This podcast being brought to you by our friend at BetMGM. New users, you guys can get a $1,000 first bet offer from BetMGM with the promo code JUICE when you go there for a new account. Okay, it's been a very good two days, six and one. We up near, are up nearly five units, and because of that, we can now say that finally I'm back into the black for this podcast. It took a while. We were down. Now we're up. Now, look, it may not stay that way, but for right now we are, and it's worth celebrating. What's wild is when you start looking at the numbers, though, as to, and this is what's so fun and why I'm lucky because the, the great folks at Betting Pros do this for me. You guys should do this too if you can. Try to keep track of what you're betting and what you're good at and what you're hot in. Because right now in the NBA, I'm 30 and 19. I'm up 9.8 units in the NBA after going 2 and 0 on the Laker game last night. Hockey is now 88 and 79, up six units. We were flat in the hockey game, down 0.1, but we got one right, one wrong. And, and not even because it was minus 105, so that was one unit there. And then yeah, 1.1 unit down before the. I guess it was one. I guess it was 0.2 units down. So it's. 5.95 or something like that. So six units, basically. Well, we're up for hockey, right? So like, you might go, well, Matt, how did you go into the hole? Like, what happened? I am down 4.7 units in combat sports. I'm down two units on the don't bet a parlay parlay, which I stupidly made official, which I never should have done that. So taking out those, in Major League Baseball, we're flat 14 and 14, down 1.2 units there. And then college basketball just, I don't know what happened. We fell apart in college basketball at the end. We had a good start, bad finish. 37 and 39, under 500, down 4.75 units there. So if you want to know, like, where is the discrepancy? Why aren't we further up? But if you're just playing NHL and NBA with the bets that I have recommended, I mean, we're up over 15 units so far. So we've had a really good run in hockey and basketball since I've come back to the Daily Juice. So good stuff there. Obviously, today we're going basketball and we're going hockey and we're going with one baseball play that's going to be boring. It's going to be consistent, but it's going to be an experiment as to just how expensive is it going to get to fade the Oakland Ace because I did it on my other show. My goodness gracious, they have 10 wins And the schedule for them over the next 30 days is absolutely brutal. And the books haven't really adjusted all that much given the number of games that the A's have lost on the run line so far this season. It is unbelievable. When they win over the last 21 losses for the Oakland A's, 18 of them have come on the run line. (laughs) <laughs> okay, when they lose, they lose on the run line. Doesn't matter who's pitching, doesn't matter where it is, and now they're on the road at Houston. Whoa, okay? But before we get to the picks for today and try to keep this good week go, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on here for the Daily Juice betting group that a lot of you guys are asking questions about this, okay? And this is for the autographed Dennis Rodman Bulls jersey. And I know a lot of you guys want to win it. It's awesome, okay? So, Listen closely to how I describe how you guys are going to be able to enter this. And I know it's a little tricky. It's a little different. I got to fully get my hands around this because I tried fooling around with it a bit tonight. And I get why you guys are getting a little bit confused with this. Okay. But mostly it's done off the application. The first thing you're going to do is go to the Daily Juice betting group in the Betting Pros app. Okay. This is for the month of May for the best ROI. You have to place 10 bets to be on the leaderboard. If you're under 10, you're not going to be eligible to be on the leaderboard, okay? There is a leaderboard just for you guys who listen to The Daily Juice to track your performance and to showcase your bets, best bets, okay? Top five all-win prizes. One, first place, Rodman jersey. Second through fifth is one year of Betting Pros Premium. Go to bettingpros.com slash juice Click the button, join the group. That's step one. Step two, betting pros app. Get it on your phone. Step three, log into the app, sync your bets using the app, or make picks in on the app. Either approach for tracking your bets will get you on the leaderboard and then monitor those daily juice leaderboard picks throughout the month. Okay? So it's bettingpros.com slash juice. Join the group, download the betting pros app, make your picks today for this 
very big contest that you guys want to win, which I absolutely love that you guys are so fired up to go ahead and win this, try to win it. Go ahead, get after it, see what happens here. I hope we all see you guys wearing that Rodman jersey somewhere in the very near future. Okay, so first bet is the A's to lose on the run line against the Astros at minus 120, okay? I'm going to do this bet for all the entire week, okay? I'm just straight up coming at you, telling you I'm going to fade the A's on this road trip, okay? Let's see where they go. I, I, I mean, look, they are a bad baseball team, but they've got a really tough road trip, and they have 10 wins. I don't know if they get to 25 wins by the 4th of July. I mean, it's just remarkable to look and see what this team has to face, okay? So first, it's a three-game set against the Houston Astros, okay? Run line, run line, run line, every game. Then against the Seattle Mariners, four-game set on the road, run line, run line, run line. Seven games, seven bets, all in the run line, all coming. Let's see what we wind up with, okay? We won't win them all, five and two, it, the juice will matter. I'm not saying the juice doesn't matter, okay? We, it may get expensive. You know, it gets really expensive. We may need to watch out for it, okay? Because if we're going, you know, if it's minus 120 and then minus 150 for the run line and we get them both, we get two units there and then all of a sudden it's minus 180 and we lose, now we're up 0.2, right? So the books are going to have their way with us in some form or fashion, okay? So I'm not saying this is like a get-rich-quick scheme or whatever, but it's more of an experiment thing because I think the A's are going to get killed in this road trip. So run line, minus 120, 1.2 units, first bet of the day, Astros on the run line. Second bet, let's go to hockey. Man, this is hard, okay? The playoffs are going to be hard. There are so many different ways to bet this. First period under, don't hate it, okay? But there's also enough stuff to go to first period overs as well with this, okay? Vegas has been a first period over. They've been a goal in the first 10 minutes team, and Dallas has not. But Dallas at home is different than Dallas on the road. And we had some success this year betting on Dallas on the road for the over. And it's only five and a half which I absolutely love. Shop around to find the best price here in terms of where you could find this, but it's minus 105 here in Vegas. Over five and a half, I'm still going to question. Look, Ottinger is going to be a net on the road. I think Vegas can score. I think Vegas five on five is going to be the better team. The Fortress, as they call it here in Vegas, T-Mobile Arena, it's going to be rocking. And I just don't know about Hill. I don't know about him in net, Okay. Vegas, I think, could win the game 3-2, to two, and then we're done. Okay, that's kind of a bummer. Maybe we get a 4-2 to two win. I just think this game's going to be higher scoring here. I think the games in Dallas will be low scoring. I think the games in Dallas here in Vegas will be high scoring. I bet the over last night, and I lost. I'm going to bet the over again here tonight. We'll see what happens. That game went to double overtime. Actually, who won that game? It was double overtime the last time I looked at the game. Uh, are they still playing, or is that game over? And they're still playing the end of the, they're in triple overtime right now. It's two, two triple overtime. So I stopped watching because we knew we lost the under. So, or the over five and a half. So the over was guaranteed to hit double overtime. It's currently uh, 930 on the 1230 Eastern time in Carolina for that game. Oh boy. That's crazy. Okay. So let's go to the Celtics. Numbers nine. The Boston Celtics were eight point favorites, eight and a half point favorites in game one, lost the game outright. Does Boston win this game tonight? Yes. Can I bet on Boston to cover? No. This is where the books get their revenge. For all of the betting on bet the team to win, don't worry about the, the sports, you know, point spreads are stupid, point spreads don't matter. Ah, <laughs> they're mattering now, okay? Five and a half. How do we win that Laker bet? Hook. They won by five. Nuggets, okay? Numbers nine. I think Boston wins by seven. I don't think Boston kills Miami ever in this series, okay? I think they may get a big lead, and then the fourth quarter, they fall apart, and the game tightens up, and then all of a sudden, bam, heat or live, okay? I will have a personal play on the over 216, okay? If you want extra on the game, I'm taking dog and over, okay? But there is a correlation between dog and under that scares me, because last night it was dog and under. It could be Celtics favor and over is what happened. So I don't want to put both bets to be official for this because I don't 100% love it. Okay, I like it. I don't love it. I'll play it. You guys want to play it. You want something extra? Go ahead and play it if you want. But I'm just, eh, 
on it. I'm not fully there. So plus nine at minus 110, I am there. Jimmy Butler, Boston at home. They don't play well, they don't play well at home. I think they win, but small. Real small. Boston wins. They take game two. They do not cover here against the Miami Heat. Plus nine. Again, if you see an in-game number, okay, if Boston is a dog at any point during this game, if Boston's plus four, plus, I mean, the middle, you get a a 12-point middle, Boston plus three, jump on it. Like, straight up jump on it because it's going to be beautiful. You can kick your heels up. You know, chances are the game's going to fall in between, and you're good, okay? So that's definitely, if you can get over one possession for Boston at any point during the game, that's perfect for a middle opportunity here with this game. I will look to middle this game personally. I didn't middle the first game. I will look to middle game two. But the official play is Miami Heat plus nine for 1.1 units. Now, one more play. The team total for Boston first half is 58 and a half. It was 56 and a half, flew over in the first game. I still think this goes over. They average 61 points at home, and I don't think Miami is going to slow down. I think Miami is perfectly comfortable playing up-tempo. They scored 45 points in the third quarter alone against the Celtics last game. I think they're comfortable running. I think they want to go up-tempo. I don't think they want to get into a half-court set with Boston. I think they're completely cool with tempo and I think Boston wants to get off to a fast start hitting threes moving the ball getting Tatum going early getting the offense going early it's a even money bet I don't really get it I mean this is again the pros are betting the under up to 60 I'm comfortable with this I'm okay but the numbers the money's coming in on the under under on the game under on the first half I'm gonna go first half team total Boston Celtics over 58 and a half for even money It's a bet I've been making a lot. Come right back with it. So, all right, four plays for us here. Astros run line, minus 120, 1.2 units. We're going over five and a half at minus 105. Golden Knights and the Dallas Stars tonight. Heat plus nine in game two against the Celtics at 1.1 units, minus 110. And first half team total Celtics over 58 and a half at even money for one unit. Probably no player props, but maybe if there are, I'll put them in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat. This is the Daily Juice Podcast. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and being a part of this community and being in the Discord channel. It's very fun to be the host of this podcast. Every morning, it is the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt. This podcast being brought to you by BetMGM.